Welcome back gamers and gamers to another Halo video game. Today we're playing Halo 3 ODST. Now this game takes place before Halo 3 and then during Halo 2. Remember in Halo 2 on the mission, I think it's Metropolis or the mission after that, where the Scarab, we blow up the Scarab and then the big Covenant Cruiser comes in, opens a slip space portal and uh, the forerun to Dawn uh, Miranda Key's like, punch it! And we try to get inside the portal, and then the as the portal shrinks down, it creates a giant massive EMP and it explodes around the city of New Mombasa. That's where ODST begins, just minutes before that happens. So join me for the next two to three videos. We're gonna make this quick and easy, quick and painless. Either way, let's go, baby. <laughs> The year is 2552. Humanity is at war with an alien alliance known as the Covenant. We are losing. The Covenant have burned our worlds, killing billions in their genocidal campaign. Earth is our last bastion, a carefully guarded secret. But not anymore. Oh no no. A Covenant carrier has breached Earth's defense and attacked the African megacity, New Mombasa. Initial reports confirm major damage and heavy civilian casualties. Now, military leaders of the United Nations Space Command, UNSC, have prepared their response. Teams of highly trained orbital drop shock troopers, ODSTs, are ready to assault the carrier from Navy ships in low orbit. This is a near Lanasus mission, but these troopers are the best of the best of the best, and saving New Mombasa could be the most important mission of the war. Can you guess who we're playing as? Him. Navy put up a good fight. Of course they did. It's Earth. Better late than never. How about you show some respect, Romeo? You'll notice. Just saying, Dutch. They missed one. No. <sighs> they left it for us. Why is it all out of sync? You know the music. Time to dance. Never mind. It's all good. But you'll notice the character's a little bit more. Pods. Overly animated now. compared to Halo 3. It's like kind of cartoonish. Kind of moving around. Pods. Now. Replacement? Okay, Sergeant. As many years into the war? Who isn't? At least they listen. To me. And they're not gonna Now there's the star of uh ODST, Nathan Fillion from the Look Civilian the Pavilion. My orders. This isn't his only appearance in a Halo game. He's also in pass on that dance. Halo 5. But you can't show me where to sit. And I think, you know what, he's kind of a little bit better in Halo 5, despite that game being absolute garbage. <laughs> yeah, dad wasn't looking at our gear, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Second to last, right next to mine. Cozy. So yeah, one, two, three, four, Ms. five, six. Naval intelligence. Our new boss. Hmm, so check your mouths, find your chairs, Get sick. Fuck. Mickey. Song. Rookie. There. Dutch. What the hell am I supposed to do with this inside a Let's say like shit. Romeo. Ah. <sighs> Wake up, Buttercup. What an asshole. You don't mean nothing. Imagine having Sucks. a nap and then some now dude just whips you right in the head with a sniper Let's rifle. Strong, silent type. Are you kidding me, dude? Okay. I'm ready to drop, fellas. Let's get ready, boys. Bye. So I'm the rookie. I'm the newest guy on the team. Kind of a trend you'll notice between this game and the next Bungie game that got developed, which was Halo Reach. You're another rookie on the team. I guess they have a thing for the underdogs. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, we're going so fast. Okay. Where are we dropping? Where are we dropping? Uh, okay, there it is. There it is. We gotta make it to that cruiser. Okay, let's go. We're gonna get right to the front. Don't worry, we're not off course. Don't worry, don't say that. Don't say that. What's it doing? What's it doing? What the hell is that? Oh my god! No, 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 What the hell? What just happened? Uh, 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 what? What? Oh. Oh, I landed. I'm alive. Thank God! Oh, God, my legs! Ah! My legs! Ah! God, search! I can't do this, man! Tough it up, boy! Get a med kit! Remember your training! Okay, Sarge. Go straight for the mech. Whoo! 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 Okay. Where do we go? I don't know. Guess we just make our way through the town. Through the city. Welcome everybody to Halo 3 ODST. We're in New Mombasa. This is a couple hours after the EMP exploded. Everyone evacuated the town. We are playing as the rookie, and this is the most unique Halo game to date, as this is more of a a free roam based game where you unravel little mysteries and little uh, clues as to what happened in the past and each item you find that relates to each person on your team replays their journey before uh, you found their appropriate piece of equipment or item that relates to what happened to them know what I'm saying if you don't you'll get it in a sec I gotta find a phone right Yay. So this game also is a lot of people's most favorite Halo game as it has... I thought that was a thing. Jesus, I thought that was someone's head. It also has one of the most different and unique soundtracks to a Halo game. There's none none of the like usual like choir, church-like sounds coming. This is more of like a jazz, bluesy kind of soundtrack puts you into the feeling of the night kind of like a, a cowboy bebop kind of soundtrack you know like yeah man it's so dark in here i'm an edgy boy so if you unlock all the secrets throughout the whole free roam portion of the game these big garages open up and inside is like mongooses or i guess mongeese mongai you get sniper rifles, you get rocket launchers, you get all kinds of good good stuff. But right now, we're just boots on the ground, just pistol, submachine gun. Tactical submachine gun, tactical pistol. This is the first time a tactical pistol was put into a Halo game. It's kind of like a as powerful It's kinda of like a nod to Halo 1. One's pistol and based on how powerful it was. I think we have to clear out this little plaza here, and then uh, we can unlock our map, uh, I think. And we can go through the rest of the tutorial if there is any. But I, obviously I declined the tutorial portion of the game because uh, I'm kind of an expert at this game. Although... Where? Oh yeah, dude! Stop. 
Oh, oh, oh my god. Huh? Where are you? Where are you? No! Why'd you pick that up? <sighs> we are humans, by the way. We are not Spartans. So we don't have a shield. We have to rely on health packs. <sighs> now it's giving me. Okay, I know. It's get okay. Uh, what am I saying? You hear a phone? I hear a phone. Anyway, we have we, we're just a human, so we have to go for health packs to get our health back. We do have like a grace period. We can take so much damage until our health bar goes down, but it's not the same as like a shield. Oh, we have to go through this stuff again. Superintendent online. So the superintendent is our map kind of AI kind of thing, you know. So this game, this map is pretty big. But this game is very small, very small. Each level is only about, like, the part time is about four to five minutes usually. Some even three minutes long. And to give you a grasp on, like, how long some of the other part times are for the other, ga for the other games, Halo 1's average part time is, like, 15 to 20, 20 minutes. So you can beat this whole game in about, I would say three hours from beginning to end if you played on normal so it's very short and I think they sold it at full price when this game first came out but it also came with an expansion to Halo 3 it came with like the last map pack I think it, it came with the mythic map pack yeah 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 100% yeah it came with the mythic map pack I believe and uh Depending on where you pre-ordered the game from, I I did my research on like some of my friends. I did the research, pre-ordered from Walmart, and I got a code to play as Sergeant Johnson in Firefight, which is uh, Firefight is basically what Gears of War's horde is. You fight waves of enemies. I think it can go on to a set amount that you place by yourself, or it can go on forever if you're playing like a custom or uh, if you're playing just through a playlist. It's very fun. Uh, I think I got one of those uh, achievements in this game for a vidmaster. Me and some kid I knew, we played... I don't know, maybe... Oh, yeah, me and some kid, and then we just had two AFK controllers. And we went to the fourth set, fourth round, blah, blah, blah. Did all that stuff, got the achievement. But, uh... I never got the stupid vidmaster where you play on the final level and everyone's in ghosts or something. I don't even know. Oh, here we go. Recon helmet. So this is the... What's her name? Veronica's helmet. Got blasted. Through this building. Into the screen. So what we do is we find each little item. And it gives us a big flashback on how that item got there. So enjoy this one, fellers. Yeah, that's us in that window. And then here comes the flashback. First level, we're playing as Buck, and we're gonna go through each member, and I think you play through maybe one of them twice, or maybe we do a, ro a rookie-specific mission. I don't remember. I'm sorry, dude. There's no way you could survive that. Even if you're encased in a pod and you don't take any, like, physical damage without, like, because you're not moving. Squad, your brain is... St from stop... From go to stop yeah. within, like, with like that. You're going so damn fast, there's no way you could survive that. Especially if you're a human. Maybe, maybe a Spartan could survive that. Uh, works great. Not a human like an ODST guy like Buck. Did I do something wrong? Because the only thing I regret about you and me not knowing you were a spook when we first met. And then he asked her to marry him. What a simp. That was years ago, Veronica. I'm a little fuzzy on it. Uh, details. 
You must have met a lot of other saps since then. Why pick me for the safari? First, you're the best soldier I know, and second, I don't remember that night. What you asked me in the morning? I remember not getting an answer. Say again, Buck. You're breaking up. I said, stay put. I'm on my way. I don't know why Buck got all like. Just because he's played by an actual actor in real life. Why did Buck get all like the, uh, he was able to make a comeback to another game. Why can't we get Dutch, like the coolest guy? He might be the ugliest guy, but come on, Dutch is obviously the badass one. Oh yeah, in this game, we, uh, when we play as the rookie, mostly, like it's nighttime, so we have a cool mode called visor mode. We can do it now too, where everything like gets highlighted, highlights the enemies, but it's, it's better for nighttime because it's kind of like, it's night vision, gives us tactical vision for uh, targets, I think weapons. Yeah, 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 gives us a little outline around weapons. Pretty cool, Spartans don't have that, only ODSTs do, I guess. I'm sure there's some Spartan armor variants where you can get that. Lore wise. Stop shooting me, you little prick. Alright, so. Also, because we're human, our grenade arcs, we can't throw grenades as far. They're in a much higher arc for some reason, they're not as straight and direct. I guess we have to rely on the arc to get a little bit more distance because we're so weak. Also, our melee is our melee damage is definitely dropped down. Our jump height is smaller, but we can still jump. That's pretty damn high, actually, for a human. Maybe they're on juice. Maybe they're on the juice. Maybe that's how they can jump so high. Okay, bro, just can your help? Can your armor freaking break, man? Okay, good. I got needler ammo. This guy's done. So our UNSC weapons are pretty useless against brute armor. So it's good to have a covenant weapon, like with plasma or maybe the needler or something. Drip it away! Hey! Hello, hello! See any more come down? Alright, we're gonna make the flank. We're gonna bust through this building. Oh look! This was when the elites were still part of the, the Covenant, so... Cool, you can see how Halo 3 variant armor would look like in a campaign instead of just multiplayer. I gotta turn this off, that's probably super bright. It's bright for me, I can't imagine for you guys. Is there another one? I thought I saw another one head... Oh. Where are you? Oh, oh! Where'd he go? That didn't get him? That got him. Goodbye. Okay, any time now? Can I get my freaking breath back? Thank you. Uh-oh. Let's use it on this guy. Thanks for the shield and the grenades. Oh, we can carry three. That's not bad. Come here. I wish there was like a cool attack. You could do like an animation where you, you melee with the needler. You just jam the needles into their skin. I don't care if it ex if it like costs a whole magazine. <laughs> That'd be such a cool thing to have. Like you have the option to do a quick melee where it doesn't use any ammo. But it, if you use the if you hold down melee, wouldn't that be a sick animation? If you just flip the handle over and <laughs> stab them right in the face or something, get a cool like Doom like animation. But it costs it it gives you an instant kill, guaranteed kill. But it costs a whole magazine of ammo. That'd be sick. Damn. Take this with you. Oh, yeah. Now, I should be done. If I was trying to go for part-time, you can you can run through every single mission in this game. Because these part-times are ridiculous. I think the one for this map is three minutes. Three minutes to beat this. I've already been on this map for like five. And I have no more... What the... What the... Problem. Come on, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I think we're almost done this level, though. I think we just have just this area and then the area where near where we found the, the lady's helmet. Okay. 
Okay, where's this? Isn't there a sniper? Maybe not. Uh oh. Uh oh. I need a. I need a. Give me some freaking ammo. Where'd that gun go? Why can't I use a carbine? Did he fall? Shite. I need that carbine ammo, dude. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh. Oh. Stop shooting me. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die from gr a grunt and a jackal. Where's the where's the freaking sniper at? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I'm alive. Oh, oh my god. Shh. Who's shooting at me? Oh, it's you. Okay, I go save my woman. You'll make it. You'll make it. Stop shooting at me, dude. I'm just trying to. There's health right there. There's health right there. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Oh. All right, let's go up there. Leave these. Leave this area. I'm out of here, dude. Piss off. There's. Oh my God. No, no, no. Let me shoot you in the ass. See, there's a gold one there, and then we got the regular blue one. Uh oh, uh oh. Run, run, run. Will I take fall damage? I ah, oh, I'm gonna take fall damage if I drop from there. I gotta go from a lesser height. There we go. Okay. Get away from my girlfriend's pod, you sucks. <laughs> what I just call them? You sucks. You sucks. Get the hell away from my girlfriend. Bitch. Oh, okay, Veronica, I'm here. I'm here. I got gotcha. you. Guess what? She ain't there, dude. Oh, nuts. Uh, I think it's trying to tell us something. Thanks, buddy. What'd you do with my girlfriend? Why do you have her helmet, dude? And then that's how the helmet flew through the window. What the heck was that? I ran out of my lip you balm, dude. Hey, Romeo. You got your ears on? Romeo's kind of a... Oh, I get it. Permission to speak, smartass. No, I don't know what it was, but it was gonna grease your ass good. Just like it did the captain. Yeah, maybe. You're from Mickey, Dutch? Negative. The rookie. We need to get above this crap. Link with the B net. One of our drones must have seen where they hid. So we're popping smoke in the lady's mission? She ever tell you what she wanted? No. Doesn't matter. All yeah. I care about now is getting my men out of this city. Even you. That was it. That was it for the first mission already. You like jazz, man? This is a good soundtrack. I actually own the soundtrack on disc. Such beautiful music, man. I like to hear more of that saxophone, though, dude. Give me more of that sax, that hot sax. Whoa! What are you guys doing here, huh? What are you guys doing here? Huh? Trying to get in trouble? This is how you get in trouble. You want to get in trouble? Hmm? Now, which way? Oh, we gotta go a long way, don't we? So we're here. We gotta go all the way across down to get over to Uplift Reserve. Well, if anything happens between now and there, I'll let you guys know. But until then, I'll see you at Uplift Reserve.
That was a cool little. Yeah, that is. I was waiting about. That was a cool little interaction. Okay, we are right by Uplift Reserve, so let's go here, and we have to find the next item, and it is right over there. There you are. Look at that. It's a piece of a. You dink. The hell away from me, man. Rick. It's a big camera. It's a drone camera. You're from Mickey, Dutch? Dutch. Negative. 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 We need to get above this crap. Link with the B net. One of our drones must have seen where they hit. So, Good but, boys. did I just drop on the beach or something? Like, what? How? Where's my pot? Anyway, we're playing as Dutch. He's the cool. Oh, okay. So we crashed here, in the outskirts of the city. Whoa, looks like World War II out there. Hmm. Anyway, this is one of my favorite missions in the game. It's quick, easy. We play as Dutch, the coolest guy. He's the most badass. He's the tough guy. This one's all mostly ve vehicle based. I like getting in this warthog with me and the boys. Me and the boys going out on a Saturday. Just jamming to some tunes, cranking the tunes. Help us secure this vehicle. Okay, let's uh, get rid of these bad guys. Flip this over. Alright, gentlemen, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! How do you honk this thing? Oh! So the part-time for this mission is about three minutes. I don't think we'll be able to get the part-time, but we can get this done within like at least four minutes out. Unless we keep hitting every tank that comes through this path. Or chopper. Keep moving. Don't let that rate oh! Shot at it. Jesus Christ. Keep moving, keep moving. I could get a ghost and just whiz right by. But I gotta do it for the boys, man. I gotta keep them. Gotta keep them with me. Keep my boys on me at all times. Plus, I can just focus on driving, and they can do all the shooting. I wouldn't have it the other way. They can't drive. Because they'll just keep doing circles and never get to the end of the mission. Go, 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 go. Watch the turrets. Oh, my God, dude. This thing is so easy to flip. Frick off. Bitch. Oh, my God. Get in! Mike. I'm Oscar Mike. Get in, you idiot! Get in! Get in! Oh my god, go, 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 go. Don't let the turrets freaking blow you up, dude. There's no way the tank is this easy to flip in Halo 3. Right? Sheesh. I'm getting chased by a chopper or something. I'm gonna lose a tire, dude. I can't. I can't afford to let that happen. I won't let that happen. No, I'm gonna go straight through this way, and I'm gonna fly past these wraiths. Frick these wraiths. We're getting this game done quick, man. I don't even care. Three episodes. That's it. Three videos. This game is significantly significantly shorter than Halo Three. And I know I did the Halo 3 series in four videos, but I want to space this one out. I like the formula story of having about three missions per level. And I don't want to do this in one big episode because editing Bloodborne into one video, all those like four to five hours worth of footage I had into like, well, how long did I have? Like an hour and a half? That took way too long. It took me like a week to edit, so I'm not doing that. I'd rather just record three levels each day, 
edit it the same day, pump it out, and uh, and profit. Okay, shoot that guy. Okay, next one. Shoot the other one. They have brute shots. Don't get hit by one. It'll flip me over. Okay, one final stretch. Just got to get over this little ridge here. Five, four, three, two, one. We're done. We're done. We did it. We finished the mission. We finished. Uplift reserve. Holy Jesus. If you finish with a ghost, is the cutscene different? I think it is. Uh, well, yeah, I think it is. I think there's two different versions. I like, didn't train to be a pilot. There's a warthog version and there's a ghost version. That's pretty to cool. Today. Man, he's ugly. But he is the coolest one. Look! It's the thing! It's the thing, bro. So, was that a yes or a no? Amen. Amen. Holy, we got 850 meters to go. That's almost a whole kilometer. I'm not going to walk through this whole thing today. Next mission, though, Kazingo Boulevard. Hope you guys like this series so far. We got two episodes left after this. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now. <laughs>